Hey guys, and welcome back to Item of the Day. As always, I'm Copyright, and this is episode 25. So today our numbers are 3, 7, and 6. So, let's see, that's the Interdiction Torch. This is... It's... You might be wondering why exactly we're doing an item spotlight on a torch. But it's actually really good. It's a really good item. I love them. They can get quite expensive, but they are very useful. I will be using some actually and anyway the first thing you need is four redstone four glowstone dust and one diamond and that of course is to make the philosopher's stone if you already have one you can just skip this step because of course you don't need to make a new philosopher's stone every time you use one so if you already have one just ignore that step and get three glowstone dust three diamonds and two redstone torches and this is, it can get pretty expensive because it costs three diamonds just to make two interdiction torches, as you can see. And they're quite expensive, 12,932 EMC each. That's, that's a lot of EMC. But as you can see, it's three diamonds, three glowstone dusts, and two redstone torches per two interdiction torches. Now, these interdiction torches are actually really good. If you put one down, you may be like, okay, what's it? What's it doing? It's just a different colored torch, and there's nothing special about that. Well, I say to you, you have to wait until there are mobs, because these uh, these interdiction torches, they're really more for protection than for lighting. They, uh, they're basically mob repellents. So, for example, if I got... If I, I'm going to just set it to midnight and get some creeper spawn eggs just because creepers are the worst problem usually whenever well for uh for this at least actually there's a creeper up there so we're just going to go up here and say there's mobs coming after us we just put it down and they can't come anywhere near us and that's fairly nice because that creeper can't get to us that spider can't get to us if we wanted we could just stand here and he can't the spider can't get to us and we can just keep punching him and the same with the creeper we could just punch him We'd have to, of course, make sure he doesn't explode, though. And what else you can do is you can get close to him and put down another torch, and it'll push him back further. And this is actually what I have in my, uh, in my chests. We're actually kind of, we have some mobs on us. We have that spider that's going to come after us, of course, since we left the area. And as you can see, it's attacking me now. So I can just throw one down, just throw him down occasionally. And then um, I basically have a protected path. I can just walk along this path and mobs just can't get to me. It's fairly nice. I think that's really good. It's It would be very good for protecting your homes against creepers. It's a very good use for it, actually. And like I said, you can just, just uh, put them down and mobs will get thrown away, basically. And that one actually exploded, but you know, whatever. And of course, you could use this to basically throw mobs off cliffs if you wanted. This is basically the next best thing to Swiftwolf's Rending Gale. And that is really good also, that ring itself. And we're actually going to make our way over to this side of the spider. And we just got smacked by him. So if he can get through here... No, he can't get through here, so I'm just going to get this torch back. And get back to where he can't go through. So, as you can see, we're over here, and there's a zombie over there also. I'm just going to push him away a bit. Here we go, and then I'm gonna, basically I'm just pushing the spider into a circle. I'm gonna basically just try to get him into a little area where he can't really get out of. Like a little triangle of three torches. As you can see, he's bouncing around a lot, so, because of course he can't get, he can't go anywhere. So as you can see, he's just like bouncing around in there, can't go anywhere. And we're just going to put one up there. And of course, as you can see, they just go flying. If you, if there's enough interdiction torches around them where they can't move, they just basically get repelled and go flying away. So we're going to try to do the same thing with the zombie, actually. Just put some there, there. Of course, repel him back to the center. And as you can see, he's just getting bounced all around. But yeah, this is a very good item. Today's episode, of course, isn't going to be that long. This is actually really all the uh, torches are used for, but it's a really good use, I think. 
So, I mean, you can just protect your home from, from creepers, from any other mobs, or protect, for example, if instead of if you have enough diamonds or if you have enough EMC production, instead of using regular torches for mining, you could just, you could just, like, make a ton of interdiction torches and just use them as you mine, and you'll see that you can, uh, it will light up the caves wherever you're mining, and it will also not let zombies or whatever mob through to get to you, basically. So, I, as you can see, I can just go like this, and mobs won't be able to get to me, which is fairly nice. And of course, uh, if a mob is in front of the torches, like if it's a skeleton, of course he can still shoot you, as long as he doesn't come within that range. But I mean, if you stay away from him far enough, you should be good. And we actually don't have a pick, so I'm just going to break through the stone with my interdiction torch. Because they are awesome. And like I said, I'm going to be using... And that was just a miserable fail. Oh, you know what? I have uh, dirt. Wow, bad fail. Okay, anyway, like I was saying, though, I'm going to be using a couple of these at my little base. Because I've actually had some creepers blow up my stuff a couple times. Like, quite a few times, actually. Whenever I'm getting ready to record. And I'm getting all the items set up in the chests. They will just, like pop up and be like, hello, Pow! and then just, everything's gone, and it's a real pain, but I mean, gotta do what you gotta do, so I mean, if we put in addiction torches, they won't be able to get to us, which is very nice, because then we won't have to worry about putting everything back, and one time it blew up my MFE, and that was terrible, because I, it was full of energy, and that's a very far drop, wow, that, it's crazy. I actually want to go explore that kind of... I'm just going to get a bucket of lava. Because it equals light. And I don't want to fall down. But uh, we can just see what's going on down there. Of course it's going to fall slowly. But um... Yeah, so I mean... I also want to get rid of this stuff. But I mean, yeah. I mean, those are the interdiction torches. They're very nice. Like I said, you can use them when you're caving. And it'd just be awesome because you would never have to be worried about being bothered by mobs except the ones that come from in front of you, of course. But if you put one right down, it will repel it back. Unless, of course, I mean, if it's a skeleton, it can get repelled back, but it might still be able to shoot you. And wow, I was just fell and died. That would have been bad. Surprised they didn't just fall and die that time. But anyway, as you can see... These are very useful items. They're, like, very useful indeed. As you can see, we didn't even get attacked really much that that whole night. Actually, I started from midnight, but, I mean, we didn't really get attacked much. But, I mean, so you can, you guys can just see how amazing they are for, like, protection against mobs. And, ouch. Apparently, uh, that didn't quite work right there. But that's okay. It was too close to him when he was trying to explode. As you can see, whenever we just place them, they just go flying around. It's pretty crazy whenever there's just so many interdiction torches. They'll just all go flying. I think that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> flying apocalypse of creepers. The sad thing is, though, whenever I try to go back to my base, it might be terrible for me. But of course, there's the, uh,. There's the path that I made. And that, that just looks hilarious. Just flying creepers. That is awesome. And of course you can just uh, achieve this with some interdiction torches. I mean, I think that's pretty funny. And of course you can see a whole swarm of them over there. Because the interdiction torches were blown up by the uh, creeper that did explode. So anyway, I mean you guys can just see that that's... It's a pretty fun item in itself. Even if you don't... I mean, you can use it for safety, but you can also just use it to have fun. But, um, yeah, we're just going to slowly walk away from those creepers. And I have some creepers at my house, so... I actually want to spawn some interdiction torches, because I want to creeper-proof my house. Well, completely mod-proof it. It's not really a house, per se, but it's more of like a little base. There's little flowers. Um, one time a creeper came here and blew up my, ah, uh, he blew up some of these chests and crafting tables. This one broke, and I put it back, and it was, it still had the, uh, 
copper cables on it. Like, once I put it back, it'll still have the copper cables on it. So I don't know if it's determined by where the block is, like, what the coordinates are for the block. It'll have random stuff. Because, I mean, the other ones haven't had anything on them. So I don't know if it's, uh, the little, nice little textures from the top are from, like, uh, from the area where we place the block, the coordinates. I don't know if it's that, or if it's just, uh, oh god, well that was bad, but we're just gonna, just we can just fill in this hole, it's no problem, but uh, I don't know if it's, the textures are dependent on where the block is placed, or where the, or if it's just random, or something, I don't even know, because that one, for some reason, doesn't want to go back to a normal crafting table, I mean, it's not that I want it to be normal, I think, I actually quite like it how it is, but I mean, I, I just wasn't sure what was going on with that, so I mean, I think it's pretty nice though, but anyway, we now have somewhat creeper proofed our little base, which is very good, so anyway guys, that was the interdiction torch, and it's, like I said, it's very useful, it, just use them for protection, they are, they can be expensive, but if you think about the consequences, if you don't use them, and for example, a creeper comes in and blows up your really expensive stuff, it's not really that much of a big deal anymore. I mean, it's it's a good deal for protection, for complete protection against your stuff. And so, I mean, I think it's very useful. I think it's a very good thing to get. I normally try to get them and definitely use them around, especially my most expensive stuff. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's very useful, definitely against creepers. Like one time, a creeper blew up my treasury because he spawned there somehow, and it was very bad. After that, I learned to use interdiction torches, and that, that actually didn't happen again to me. So, I mean, it's a very good thing. You guys might want to look into it. And, I mean, it's, like I said, it's two diamonds, or three diamonds per two interdiction torches, but two interdiction torches can cover a lot. For example, if you just put one in each doorway, or like if you have one entrance to your house, you can just put that there, and then you, if everything else is lit up well, it that should really be all you need. But I mean, so, you guys might want to look into it. That was episode 25. Thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day.